Are you learning how to develop nursing care plans? Or maybe you think you have a nursing diagnosis that fits your patient and you're just not sure what to do next or how to use your textbook to help you. If you're looking to create evidence-based nursing care plans, you've got to stay locked into this series of videos where I show you how to use your nursing diagnosis textbook in just a few easy steps. By the end of this series, you'll be developing your care plan in no time. Stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Now in a previous video, I provided a basic orientation and overview of your nursing diagnosis textbook. I also reviewed some of the initial steps for finding potential nursing diagnoses that may be relevant to your patient. So if you've never used your textbook before or you have no clue where to find a list of possible nursing diagnoses, I would suggest checking out my previous videos in this series so you're more familiar with each section of your textbook. I'll include the links below so you can access them directly. For those of you who have a diagnosis in mind and are ready to move forward to the final steps of care planning, we're going to walk through section three of your textbook together and get you writing those care plans in no time. Section three is one of the most important sections for you to understand, and it's one of my favorite parts of the textbook because it does all the care planning work for you. Remember what section three is called? Guide to care planning. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're using our textbook to guide us in the care planning process. So let's just review again, if you've been following along in the video series, the initial steps of developing a care plan, okay? Number one, completing an assessment where we gathered objective and subjective information from our client. Number two, looking up the client's condition or symptoms in section two of the textbook. And then from there, reviewing a list of possible nursing diagnoses we can choose. Now the next step, which is what you're all here for today, is to evaluate whether the nursing diagnosis is actually a good one and determine whether it's appropriate for our client. And we're gonna use section three to do that. Remember those bolded diagnostic labels we found in section two or at the front of your textbook? Well, we search for those bolded diagnostic labels in section three and read more about them to determine whether if it fits our specific client. So remember, section three is a collection of NANDA nursing diagnoses care plans that are arranged in alphabetical order by diagnostic label. So the final step of the care planning process is to search for the bold diagnostic label in section three of the textbook. For me, that's my purple section. You will see that the label has its own NANDA definition, the defining characteristics and related factors, the associated conditions and the risk factors, especially if you're creating a risk diagnosis. As you are reviewing this information, there are a couple of questions I want you to ask yourself, okay? Number one, does this diagnosis make sense for my patient's condition? And number two, does this diagnosis align with my assessment findings? If so, then that nursing diagnosis would be appropriate to include in your care plan. And if not, then go back to section two and find a different nursing diagnosis that is more appropriate for your patient. So essentially what we're doing here is evaluating a potential nursing diagnosis and determining whether it's appropriate for your patient. I hope this is making sense. Check out the final video in this series where I review the last step to creating your nursing care plan. You don't wanna miss it. In fact, if you're interested, I have a nursing care plan template that you can use, along with a few examples of different nursing care plans that I've developed in the past. If you wanna download them for free, all you have to do is simply click on the link in the description box 
follow the steps and we'll email them to you. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. Ha, ha, ha.